Editing audio can often result in unwanted pops and clicks at the start and end points of audio clips. Let's take a look at how you can use fades in Ableton Live to mask or mute those problems. So fades in Live are real-time, and they're done using automation envelopes. We can see them by going to the automation chooser here just below the track name and clicking on that, and notice that fades is available in that list. Now, as we can see, I've got regular-looking fades here, and that's because these were auto-created because of a preference. So let's go up to the Live menu. That would be the Options menu on a PC. And let's choose Preferences. And then choose your Record Warp Launch tab. And under Warp Fades area, you'll see that there is an option for Create Fades on Clip Edges. Now, on mine, it's currently off. And that's a good thing, because if you want to delete fades, it actually has to be off. In most cases, I'm going to work with the Auto Fades, and I'm going to leave this on. But just so I can demonstrate how we can add custom fades, I'm going to leave that off, and let's go back out into our window here. And I'm going to zoom in on the tail end of this last clip there on the Omni Bass track. And we can see that we've got a fade here, and there are two handles on that. The top handle allows me to control the length, and the middle handle or bottom handle here allows me to choose the curve or the shape of that fade. Now, if I click the top chooser there and hit my Delete key, I can actually delete that fade. Now, if I want to add a fade out to that clip, all I need to do is make a selection across the end of that fade. And I notice that I'm being constrained by the grid, so I'm actually going to right-click on this, and I'm going to turn the grid off so that I can make a selection that's not constrained by the grid and make my custom fade exactly the length that I want it to be. So now that I have a selection, I'll go up to the Create menu, and I'll choose Create Fade Out, which is the bottom option on that menu. And notice that it didn't make the fade the entire length of my selection, but it made it from the end of that clip to the end of my selection. So it left off this part that was outside of the clip. But you actually have to drag across the clip edge so that it knows that you want to do that fade. So I'm going to zoom back out a little bit. And you can make a fade in on a clip the same way that we did that fade out. But in this case, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to make a crossfade between these last two OmniBase clips. So I'll make a selection. And this time I'm going to right click inside my selection. And I'm going to choose Create Crossfade. If you were looking, you'll notice that it's the same command, which would be Option Command F on a Mac or Alt-Control-F on a PC. But I'll go ahead and choose that option. And it made the crossfade, but I want you to notice that it actually shifted it over and it actually put it at the beginning of that last clip. Now, it did that because there aren't any handles or extra audio after the end of the outgoing clip or before the incoming clip. So let me undo that. And I'm just going to move my cursor over into the middle of this last clip. And I'm going to separate that. So let's go Edit and Split is the actual command. That's Command-E on a Mac or Control-E on a PC. And so I've just split that clip into two pieces. And now I can go ahead and make that crossfade because there's actually audio before the beginning of this clip. And I can show you that by just dragging it out. And there's audio after the end of this clip because I can drag that out to the whole clip. So I'll make that selection. Now I'll use the key command, which is Option Command F or Alt Control F on a PC. And it made that crossfade and it put it exactly where my selection was. So in some cases, reduced audio quality is a desired effect. But with today's audio editing tools, pops and clicks at the end of clips that are the result of poor or hurried audio editing are inexcusable. So don't forget to add fades to your audio clips.